Well, praise the Lord. I'm Pastor Jeffrey A. Johnson, Sr. I'm the senior pastor of the Eastern Star Church in Indianapolis, Indiana, and Fishers, Indiana, with a word of encouragement for you on today. Today is going to come from Matthew chapter 25, verse 40. This is Jesus speaking. The king will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Jesus Christ is coming to address a religious system, a social system, an economical system. He's coming to address even a judicial system. And he was trying to tell them, you can't just take care of everybody at the top and then ignore the poor and the oppressed and the marginalized. He starts saying, I was hungry, you fed me. I was outdoors, you invited me in. I was in prison and you came to check on me. And they started asking, when did we see you like this? When you've done it to the least of these, the least, the lonely and the left out. Jesus identified with the marginalized, with the oppressed. And he sought to challenge those systems to make sure that you include the poor as well. And it's these systems that we see even in our nation that include some and exclude others. And I, matter of fact, I was downtown with a bunch of protesters protesting uh, the police brutality and the fact that those who are supposed to protect and serve, uh, they can just gun down and kill unarmed black men and women and then there's no consequence to it. And so something needs to be done with the policies and the systems and all that. So they, I went down and, and I was on to speak and somebody right before me and they were speaking, it was a, a, a type of megaphone, some kind of sound system where you could hold the speaker in one hand and then you held this mic that you had to hold in the other and press down. So when that speaker got finished, everybody could hear, everything was fine. Then I grabbed it. I held the, the sound system right. I held the microphone. It's not my first time holding a mic, but the crowd was hollering, we can't hear you. And I know I have a loud voice and my voice carries we can't hear you. And I'm talking about social justice and equality and, and unity, but I couldn't be heard. And then we kept trying to get it together and it wouldn't get together. Then they took that sound system away. And then they brought another one to me and everybody could hear me just fine. Here's what I told them that day. The issue was not my voice. The issue was not my message. The issue was not my level of intelligence. It was not whether or not I had a degree or not I do. The issue was the system I was using. It was a system that worked for one, but that system didn't work for me. And the only way to make it equal and inclusive is to change the system. We have these economic systems, we have these educational systems, these judicial systems, we have these social systems that don't work for black and brown people. And we can't just do studies. We, we've had enough studies. We gotta change systems so that we include everybody, red, yellow, black, brown, or white. We're all precious in the Lord's sight. Let us pray. Jesus, thank you for challenging these unjust systems. And thank you for your Holy Spirit in us that we can do the same. And we pray dear God that you give us the power and the influence and the strength and the wisdom to make sure these systems are changed to include everybody. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.